Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas. In this video, we'll be exploring the beauty of color and how it relates to science. Color is something most of us take for granted, with the ability to attract and inspire or deliver a discouraging warning. Color is best perceived by the human eye under true white light or daylight, with the temperature range from 5,000 to 6,500 degrees Kelvin. True white light is the combination of all the colors of the visible spectrum. When daylight or white light passes through a prism or optical element, like this water parabola, white light is broken into spectral colors making a rainbow of visible light ranging between 390 to 700 nanometers. When light illuminates an object, the color perceived by the human eye and brain is nothing more then the object absorbing all the other colors of the visible light spectrum and reflecting the color wavelength of its origin. This emits what we perceive as a specific color. While mixing primary colors of light create the appearance of white, mixing solid pigments of the basic primary color palette creates a light absorbing mixture that enhances contrast and defines textures. This creates what is referred to as the color black. For solar thermal applications, black is generally used as a preferred color base due to the large spectrum of light absorption, causing an object's atoms to become excited, resulting in thermal conversion and heat retention. This absorbed heat can be transferred or exchanged to various mediums for water heating or moving electrons in a thermoelectric module allowing for solid state electrical generation. The primary color red is one of the most passionate colors for the human eye. The color red can subconsciously represent good genetics and health. Red is also used for attention getting warnings. The color green is abundant in areas of good irrigation. Organisms that utilize photosynthesis for energy absorption contain the pigment chlorophyll the primary color blue, or a lighter version of it, fills the sky above us on a clear day. While our sky is not really a color, it appears blue due to light scattering. Since indigo and violet have the shortest wavelengths of the visible spectrum, it might be fair to say that the sky is purple. But due to the structure of the human eye, the wavelengths of the color blue are short enough to bend and appear as the dominant color. Color perception is a necessary tool for the exploration and advancements in science and technology. If you're interested in applying the science of color in such fields as materials research and cosmetics, L'Oreal is now hiring across a variety of fields, including chemistry and bioformatics. You can check out their LinkedIn careers webpage with more than 400,000 followers. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.